Hey class, Mr. Woodbury here. Just wanted to go over this one homework problem. It covers all the ideas you need to be able to handle in these exponential graphs. I'm trying to graph e to the x minus 2 minus 6, an exponential function. Uh, to graph it in my math lab, I click to enlarge the graph. I select the exponential tool. And I can start by just clicking any point in the graph to open up the dialog box. Now the vertical shift is your value of k. In this problem, k is negative 6. So I type negative 6, and when I move to the next box, notice that just dropped the graph by 6. The horizontal shift has to do with our value of h, which was 2. So I type 2 in that box. Notice that it already had the base set to be e. The horizontal shift of 2 just moved the graph 2 units to the right. So there's my graph. I click Save. I check my answer. Boom. Okay, round two. I need to find the y-intercept. And the y-intercept occurs where x is equal to 0. So on my calculator, putting in 0, I've got e to the negative second power minus 6. So I raise e to the negative second power. And that's about 0.135. And then from that, I subtract 6. It asks me to round to the nearest tenth, so I have negative 5.9 as an ordered pair. That's parentheses 0, comma, negative 5.9. Close the parentheses. Check my answer. Boom again. Uh, next problem, I needed the x-intercept. The x-intercept is where y is equal to 0, so I'm going to be solving e to the x minus 2 minus 6 equals 0. I isolate the exponential part by adding 6 to the right-hand side. I take the natural log. That's going to leave me with x minus 2 equals ln of 6. And then I add 2 to the right-hand side. On my calculator, the natural log of 6 is about 1.79. Adding 2 and rounding to the nearest tenth, that's 3.8. So for the x-intercept as an ordered pair, 3.8 comma 0. Check my answer. Good job. Determine the vertical asymptote of the function. So this is an exponential graph. It has a horizontal asymptote, not a vertical one. So I select option B. There's no vertical asymptote. Then determine the horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is the equation of this line, and that is y equals negative 6. I know in some of the homework, it gives you the y equals already, but I need to type an equation here, y equals negative 6, check answer, good job. Finally, I need the domain and the range. Remember, for an exponential function, that's all real numbers. So, get an ordered pair, negative infinity, comma, infinity, not sure why that's disappearing on me, uh, there we go, check answer, excellent, and then remember the range goes from bottom to top here, it's from negative 6 to infinity, parentheses, negative 6, comma, infinity, close the parentheses, and now we're ready for the next question. I hope that helps. You do the log ones pretty much the same way, except grab the log tool instead. 